Good morning, everybody. This is Captain Mike Rowell with the Charter Boat Annie Girl. And uh, today is Wednesday, April 22nd, I believe that's right. Um, it is absolutely a gorgeous April day. I wish I was out fishing today. Working on the boat, doing some things, uh, getting our Coast Guard inspection done and whatnot. But uh, just want to touch base with you. I hadn't uh, talked to you in a while. Uh, the thing I'd like to talk about today is red snapper. Um, I'll try not to make this too long. There's a lot of uh, people out there that are confused on what's going on with the red snapper issue, and I'm going to try to break it down real quick. Basically, the National Marine Fisheries uh, every year gives us a what they call a total allowable catch. In other words, a limit on how many pounds of fish that can be harvested from the Gulf of Mexico and uh, the, the you know the federal government's involved in it and so that you know what that means sometimes it's not done that efficiently a lot of red tape and uh, and whatnot so the data that we've been getting uh, has been slow coming and uh, you know the fisheries recovering, but the, it takes so long for the for the data to get in and whatever. It's just been a it's been a crazy process, and the way they've been gathering data is not necessarily the best way. It's, uh, and it's taken a long time for all of this to really start showing uh, showing its head. You know that the that the fish are rebuilding and, uh, and, and you know, it's time to start harvesting some more of the fish. So basically they give us this total allowable catch and uh, it's, it has been broken into two sectors, commercial, those are the guys that catch fish and sell them and then recreational and that was charter boats and you folks that have your own boats and you know charter boats are not commercial boats and in, in this in this conversation some people say well you're commercial because you go out and take people out fishing for hire but we're not considered commercial we're actually now considered for hire the National Marine Fisheries has signed into law with amendment 40 a plan that is that separated the charter boats out from the uh, recreational sector. So now there's three sectors with respect to Red Snapper. There's commercial, there's for hire, and there's recreational. And one of the main reasons they did this is as the federal government's been handling all this. The data's been coming in slow and and on and on and on. And uh, they say we've been catching more fish than we should have. And the reason the the seasons have been getting shorter is because uh, they if you go if you go over your total allowable catch this year, next year when they set the total allowable catch or the tack they'll deduct what you over harvested the year before so the commercial fishermen have have a different thing now they have um, they have vessel monitoring systems and they have their own catch their own share of the catch based on historic catches over the years and everything they catch has to be reported they have electronic uh, log books when they leave the dock they have to declare they're going red snapper fishing and before they make landfall coming back home they have to let everybody know through a, through a, a vessel monitoring system through via satellite or telephone or whatever that they're coming back and what time they'll be back and where they're going to hit the dock and those fish are counted and when they sell them at the fish house the fish house has to set you know to, has to count them and sign off for them so there's not much if any 
uh, black market, uh, the, the, the true commercial uh, fisherman has too much to lose to do that. And they've got a ample amount of the, the um, quota where they don't need to do that. So they've cleaned up their house, in other words. So every year now when the, they don't, they don't overfish. They, but, but with all this electronic monitoring and all of they can't. So every year the total allowable catch goes up if the fishery is recovering and it has been. So as it's been going up, the commercial sector has been getting more fish every year. The recreational sector has been getting less every year because even though they're giving us more, we're having to pay back from the previous years because we're over harvesting. The, the uh, methods they're using are are just, it's just too big of a thing to handle. You know, they're just guessing. So, starting this year, the, rec the uh, four hire sector, your charter boats, will be fishing under this new method and we will have to count and report every fish we catch. So we will not overfish. Next year, if the fishery's still recovering, total allowable catch goes up. There's a, you know, we should get more days of fishing as well. Eventually, I, my, my gut feeling is that the recreational sector will also have become accountable some kind of way with fish tags or lottery or something. Uh, so that, the, that we're not overfished. So that's basically what's going on. I, I hope I didn't confuse you, but this is what's coming. <clears throat> For years, there's been no, uh, there was no bag limits and size limits. And as more and more people started entering these fisheries, uh, you know, things had to be done just like deer and ducks and dove and everything else. I would imagine way back when, you know, you could shoot deer, dove, or ducks any time of year you wanted to. But as time went on, we learned more about these species in order to protect them and and uh, and have them as a, a, a renewable resource, uh, then we have to put limits on them. And that's the way it's gonna be with every fish out there. And it's a good thing. It's it's uh it, it's uh it's hard getting it all going, getting it started. But I think in the long run, it's going to be good for for all of us. So nobody's out there. You know, charter boats aren't out there trying to steal recreational fishermen's fish. Uh, that's a that's one big thing a lot of people say. It and and uh, but there are a lot of people that don't own their own boats that fish on charter boats, and that's who this allocation actually belongs to, is those people, because I can't, and nor my deckhands, we we can't go out there and catch red snapper and bring them home on, on these boats. I'm a federally permitted vessel. I, my limits don't count. I can't go out on that boat and catch fish for myself. Those fish are for, are set aside for the recreational anglers that do not own a boat, maybe they can't afford a boat, maybe they can't, they, maybe they had a boat before and realize how expensive it is, they don't choose to have a boat, whatever. So, yes, I do make my living doing it. That's what I chose to do 25 years ago. And, you know, you can still get into charter boat business uh, if you like. You just have to buy somebody else out. So our industry has been capped. There will be no more charter boats no, than, than there are right now, the, the number. You know, if you want to get into business, you have to buy somebody out. So the effort in the charter boat industry has been capped. The effort in the commercial fishery has been capped. And the, the scientists are telling us that uh, you know the recreational industry or the recreational side is growing and they've got to figure out a way to cap the effort on them so that was a long uh, explanation but it's not easy to explain it's 
It's very complicated. This fishery stuff, I've been involved in it a long time. I, I try to keep people informed on what's going on. But bottom line is now, we're looking at a 40 to 45 day snapper season for the charter boats in federal waters. So when you go fishing with me, I have to abide by federal law, no matter if the state waters are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, I have to do what the feds say, no matter what. So now that's another reason why the seasons were getting shorter too. The states have been getting, you know, pretty aggravated with the fact that the federal seasons have gotten shorter and shorter and they were trying to match the federal seasons. Well, they pretty much uh, told the National Marine Fisheries, you know, we don't like what you're doing. And states like Florida and Texas, they have a long season in state waters. Their state waters go out nine miles. And basically, if you looked at it, they were catching the total allowable catch in the state waters of Florida and Alabama, I'm sorry, Florida and Texas for the entire Gulf of Mexico. That's why we only had a nine day season in federal waters because the, the state waters were open so long they're catching all of the, all the fish that the federal government thinks should be taken out of the whole Gulf. So this is a, a better plan, all the fish uh, shouldn't be taken just out of the state waters. We need to harvest fish from federal waters and state waters. And so anyway, like I said, it's very complicated. When I first started fishing, I thought, you know, it's pretty easy. You just put gas in the boat and go fishing. Well, it ain't that way anymore, just like anything else, especially when the feds have got their hands in it. But I think it's a good thing. And, uh, you know, I hope you understand. If you have any questions, you can let me know. I'll try to answer them. So for now, that's my fishing report. The fishing's good. Uh, we're booking up really good. Uh, still got a lot of days in July since we got this expected 40-day season. June's booked up pretty good. Uh, May, still got some days. We've been fishing offshore for tuna. It's been a little bit slow, but they're starting to show up a little bit more, catching plenty of black fins, some yellow fins. We've already tagged three blue marlin this year. But all in all, the fishing's good. Amberjacks are biting good. Uh, come on, go fishing with us. Uh, there's always gonna be some bag limits and size limits. You, you know, you try to book your trips when you wanna catch those certain species. And if it, if you're, uh, if you're not really uh, worried about any particular species, you book us anytime we'll tell you what we can catch we'll show you a good time and folks that's what it's all about uh, you know back in the day it was like a years ago a charter fishing trip was like a orchestrated commercial harvest we go out there with a bunch of guys and just try to fill every hole in the boat and bring them all back and I don't know how many of those fish ruined or how many got sold up the road or whatever, but that's not what it's about anymore. It's about going and having a good time, catching you some, you know, everybody wants to bring some fish home, but, uh, you, you know, I'm just being honest, you know, you just, you can't justify the cost of the trip versus how many pounds of fish you're gonna be bringing home. It just don't work that way anymore. And uh, most people are realizing that, and they want to, they want these fish to be here for the next time and for the next generation. So anyway, I better get off of here. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Come catch you some on Nanny Girl. Standing by.